Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Sludge here, back with another video. In today's video, guys, we are doing part two of how to make a realm. And in today's video, we're going to be focusing on how to make crates. So in today's video, we're going to have to download a program called Blockbench. The link to that will be in the description down below. And we are going to be putting a custom block into the game. And we're going to be using that custom block to then use it as a custom crate. So without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, when you first open Blockbench, you will be greeted with a quick setup uh, where you can change a the theme and all of that. We're just going to ignore that for now. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down to where it says new and you want to click on Bedrock Entity. From here, click on Create New Model, and then create a file name for it. So I'm going to call this one Crate, and underneath the model identifier, I'm going to call that Crate as well, just to keep things nice and simple. Then, guys, you want to click on Confirm, and from here, you're going to make your own little uh, chest sort of crate-looking uh, item. Now, I'm going to teach you guys how to use Blockbench very, very briefly. So to add uh, blocks that you can move around, you can right click over here and click on add cube. From here, if you just double click on the cube, you can then drag it around to change the size just like that. Or you could use the arrows over here to get a perfect size. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it 14 by 14, uh, 14 by 14 by 15 blocks. Uh, now this is in pixels, okay, so keep that in mind. But once you've done your cube, if you want to add another one, you can go ahead and do that. And you can make this as small as you want, but you are limited to a 16 by 16 by 16 area with a block now that's different with an entity but with a block you are limited to the 16 by 16 by 16 area we will be making entities later on in the series but for today we're just going to make a block and make sure your block is either 16 by 16 by 16 or smaller than that like mine is 14 by 15 by 14 okay now the position we're going to ignore that the pivot point we're going to ignore that and rotation we're going to ignore that for now once you've done your uh, block you then want to make your texture for it so come over here to where it says textures and you want to right click this and you want to click on create texture now the name for your texture i'm going to call this one common underscore crate because we're going to make a common crate in today's video and the type you want to leave that as texture template and then you want to click on confirm now just check on all sides of your block you should have a different color and from here we can now start changing the color of the block so if you click on your block and then go up to here where it says paint click on that and now you can change your color via this area here so if i wanted to go green and then change this to a nice lime green once i've changed that I could either use the pen or the paintbrush to paint individual blocks and make a pattern on here. Or I could use the paint bucket here to paint certain sides, as you can see. And if I make a mistake, I can use this eraser here to then erase the marks and repaint them back in if I wanted to. Now, if you want a area on your block that is see-through, maybe you're making a multi-layered block, you can do that simply by erasing the area where the texture is, and you can now see that we can see through the block to the other side. And we could have like another cube in there that is painted a different color to have like a layered block. But for right now, we are just going to leave it as the custom template that it gives us or the template that it gives us for the block. And we're just going to leave our common crate just like this. Now, once you have done this, we are then going to click on file and we are then going to click 
hover over export and we're going to click export bedrock geometry. Now from here, you can save this crate.geo to wherever you like. You guys are hearing Xbox notifications. Uh, just ignore that. Um, you want to save this wherever you like, but make sure to save it in an area that you will find it. So my crate geo, I'm going to save this to my desktop. And for the common crate, I'm going to right click, I'm going to save that. And I'm also going to save that to my desktop called crate. Just like that. And we're just going to click on save. Now from here, you want to open up bridge 2.0. So guys, now we are on bridge 2.0 and what you want to do is hover over where it says new file and you're going to click on that. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on a block and you're going to click on custom geometry block. Now for the identifier, again, we're going to call that common underscore crate just like so. And for the display name, we're going to make it nice and call it common crate with a space in capitals. Now for the block model, you're going to click on where it says create geo and you're going to click open and for the block texture, you're then going to find the block texture that you saved it as. So if we just click on show here and we click on where it says create, click open, we have now got our create texture, our geometry, our display name and our identifier and we're just going to click on create. So after creating your block, we now need to click on Minecraft block. We need to right click pick collision and delete it. Right click entity uh, collision and delete that as well. Now from components, we are going to add an event. That event, we can call it whatever we want. I'm just gonna call it Solus here. Now I'm gonna edit that there and call it Solus common score roll there we go it's solace common roll and what that is going to do that's going to run a command the target of that command is going to be other and the command is going to be for now we'll just do slash clear okay now in components here we're going to click on that and we're going to add an on interact component and when they use the on interact, that's going to run the event solus common role. So now we've set up our block, we're going to save that. And now we're going to open up Minecraft. So here we are in the world. And what we're going to do, we are going to open the chat and check that our block is in the game. So we're going to open up chat and type in give space at s and you're going to type in the name of your block. So as you can see, it's right there. So I'm going to click tab and I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, we have got it. So I'm going to create, we're going to right click it. And as you can see, it does the slash clear command. Let's go over here and get some coal, uh, get some dirt and get some copper ore. Now, if we right click it, as you can see, it runs a slash clear on us. So now we are going to change that to a function. So we can now test if it works for our function file to make this into an actual crate. So let's do it. So to do that, when you open up bridge 2.0, what you're going to do is we're going to change command here to a slash execute, as you can see. And we're going to delete this right here. We're going to delete this slash clear. And for this execute command, we are going to do slash execute at s tilde tilde tilde. There we go. At s tilde tilde tilde. And now we're going to make it say hi. Just like so. Now we're going to control s. I'm going to open up Minecraft once again so once you load back into the world if you have done it correctly when you right click this block it should make us say hi in chat there we go so now we know that that's working and every single time we click on it it's going to make me say hi so now we know that that's working we are now going to add a, a custom function to make this 
give us a random number on a scoreboard when we run it. So let's do that. When you get on bridge 2.0, you want to click on where you've done your execute command. And now we're going to change the say hi to run a certain function. A function is going to be function rates forward slash common underscore roll just like that so then we're going to click enter and then control s and that should now change this to execute as tilde 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 function crates slash common role now what we're going to do is we're going to click on file i'm going to click on new file then you're going to find the function file by going to simple files scrolling down and clicking on function from here we're going to add a subfolder and that is going to be functions forward slash great. I'm going to enter that. And now in file name, we're going to type in common underscore role. Then you want to click on create. Now it's created a functions folder with the folder called crates and inside crates, we've got common role. I'm not sure why this one's here. So we're going to delete that. That may be a bug. But I know that functions create and we've got common role. Now inside of this, we are now going to say hi and click Control S. Then we're going to open up Minecraft and see if it's working. While recording this, I just want to let you know that every single time we add a folder or a file to Bridge 2.0, you will need to leave and rejoin your world just to let you guys know. But now we have loaded back in and you want to right click this and it should make us say hi. Now we can go in to bridge just like that. And instead of it saying hi, we are going to make it create a scoreboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in scoreboard space objectives space add Base, and we're going to call it common underscore role space dummy. Now underneath this, we're going to do scoreboard. Now, you don't need to do this part here, what I'm doing, but I like to do it to make sure that it's working. So scoreboard objectives, then we need to set display. Then we're going to do sidebar. I'm going to call it common role. And then under that, we're going to do <coughs> scoreboard space players space add space at s common role. And we're going to do one to ten. Actually, get rid of this. Sorry, you're going to put random. My bad. Random at s on common role, either one and then ten. So now what this should do is every single time that we run this, it should give us a random score between one or 10 on the scoreboard. So let's open up Minecraft and see if that has worked. For this one, every single time you change a function file, you do not need to reload the world. All we need to do is do a forward slash reload and press enter. Now, if we right click this block, it should set our scoreboard as you can see, and it's gave us the number six. If we do it again, it says two. If we do it again, it says eight. If we do it again, it says four. And we can continue to do this and it will give us different numbers every single time, as you guys can see. So now let's make this give us a random reward and let's now also make it play a sound. So it's like a proper crate. Also, we're going to test if the person has a key. So we're also going to create a common key. So let's also do that as well. So we know this works now back on a bridge. What we're going to do, like I said, we're going to make it play a sound. But first, let's add the key side of things to make it a little simple. We're going to put it above this. Make sure it is above it. OK, and not below it. Make sure it's above the commands that we've already done. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in scoreboard. Space 
space, objective space, add space, common underscore keys, space dummy. And underneath that, we're going to now add the player to it. Scoreboard players add at s to common keys zero. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to edit this part underneath here now. So scoreboard players random at s. And what we're going to do is we're going to open uh, a square bracket just like so. And inside of the square bracket, we are going to type scores. Scores. Then we're going to open a curly bracket. And inside of here, we are going to, sorry, uh, just before that, we're going to do scores equal. Then we're going to open the curly bracket, and inside of here, we're going to do common underscore keys equal, and then we're going to do one and dot dot. Now, what this is going to do, it's only going to give them a common role if they have more than if they have one or more keys. So if they don't have any keys, it's not going to do anything. Now, what we're going to do is just above that, we are now going to execute at s tilde 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 space. Get rid of tilde 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 real quick. Execute at s. I accidentally put that in capitals. But anyway, uh, execute at s, then open your square bracket and type in the exact same thing. Scores equal. Then open your curly bracket and do common underscore keys equal one dot dot. And what this is going to do, it's only going to execute the person if they have more than one common keys. If they don't have any common keys, then it won't do this. But it's also now going to play sound. The so play sound space random dot level up space at s now we're going to control save that and we are going to load up minecraft so here we are in minecraft and because we have changed a function file all we need to do is do forward slash reload and click enter now if we click on this nothing is going to happen as you can see because we don't have any common keys now to give ourselves a common key, what we're going to do is we're going to type in scoreboard space players add at s on common keys, as you can see, and we're going to add us one common key. Now if we click on this, as you can see, it changed. We have now got nine on the common roll and it played the little sound. Let's just make sure that that's still working. So let's do it. And it's going to continue to do it now because we have more than one on the scoreboard so it's great now we're going to make it reset and take the common key away from us now the way we take the common key away from us is using the execute command once again so let's open up bridge 2.0 and make it take the key away from us and also reset us on the scoreboard and give us a random Prize. So let's do it. So here we are back on bridge 2.0. What we are going to do now is if it runs this, we are going to execute once again the person with that. And we're going to paste that in. And instead of play sound, we are now going to do scoreboard. players add actually no we're going to remove at s on common keys one space one now what this should do is every single time that they click on this it's going to take their key away from them so now the key's been taken away so if they run the if they run it and it plays the sound and it gives them a random number on the scoreboard 
it's going to take a key away from them because they've used that key now. So now that key is taken away, we're going to control save that. And we are now going to go under that. And we are now going to detect what number they are on the common role. Now the way we do that is we use an execute command. So we're going to type in execute at s and we're going to open square brackets and we're going to do scores equal and then open curly brackets and we're going to do common underscore role equals I'm going to do one and I'm going to do space tilde 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 now we're going to copy this and do this all the way down now for 10 times. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just like that. And now we're going to change this from one to two, to three, to four, to five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. Now it's only going to execute them if they have either one of these numbers. So if they have number one, we're going to just do a few give commands here. So we, you guys can change this up as, you know, whatever you guys want. So if they get one, they're going to get given at S and we're going to do uh, diamond. There we go. Uh, one, they get one diamond. And then for this one, they're going to get given um, an oak, an oak, uh, assume an oak sign one oak sign and for this one we're going to give them at s we're going to give them an acacia boat and yeah you guys you guys get the point um we're just going to give them random things here so let's do that and let's just do give at s and then type in a random thing and whatever comes up you know this is where this is where you guys can get creative of course um and you guys can obviously add your own things. So do iron ingot. How's that not working? There we go. I'll we'll give an iron axe, why not? And then for these ones we're just gonna say eight because it's quicker. <laughs> say nine and say ten. There we go. Just to speed up the video a little bit. Uh because I'm running out of ideas. But anyway now we know that it's going to give them a random thing or make them say something okay now we need to take them off the common role scoreboard otherwise they will get given that every single time and it's just going to be a waste so to clean this up a little bit so there's no bugs we are now going to execute that person and we're going to execute at s and the open square bracket i'm going to type in scores equal then open curly brackets i'm going to do common underscore roll equals and if we do one dot dot so if they have one or more scores on the common roll we're then going to do scoreboard my bad we're going to do tilde 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 i'm going to do scoreboard scoreboard players space set at s on common roll be zero and now we're going to save that so now if we just open up minecraft once again just like so and we run a slash reload now if we do it we have been given an axe and if we do it again it says 10 now, if we try and do it again, it won't work. But if we give ourselves a key, so there we go, we've now got a key and we do it, it works. We've got an iron axe. Give ourselves another key, and you see it says eight. Now, if we continue to try and do it, it won't work. And if we give ourselves now, if we give ourselves five keys, we'll be able to do it five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And we won't be able to do it anymore after that. I see we're getting different items each time or we're saying something in chat. So now that is working and you guys can do whatever you guys want with this. 
Um, it's foolproof. Um, it works every single time. And you can use this to make multiple blocks to do different crates or different crate keys. Just change up the common roll to epic roll or rare roll or whatever you guys want to make this your own. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching part two of How to Make a Realm series. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you did like it, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and tell me in the comments what you guys want to see to be added to your realm. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay soulless. I love you all. Peace.